What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a patterned colouring book page fast and easy and with no design experience. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, over the last few days, I've come across a brand new software. Well, it's not brand new. It's been around for a very long time, but I've only just come across it. Now, what is that? This is called Repper App. Now, first of all, I just want to shout out um, Rebecca Holman for introducing me to this. I've been playing around with this and this is absolutely awesome and now I want to share it with everyone here. So with this app what you can do is create patterns. So if we scroll down to here we can see all these different types of patterns. Now the patterns that you create are going to be completely unique to you. So no one else is going to have that pattern. Now further on in the video, I am going to show you actually how to create these. First of all, I just want to go through the sales page and show you what it says. Now. First things first, they do have a free trial, and that's what I'm playing around with at the minute. We're going to go over the pricing as well, but there's a two week free trial, and you can still download and play with the app. Heck, you can actually play with the app for free without even signing up. Now, if you do want to check out Repper.app, I am going to leave a link down in the description so you can go through and check it out. So, let's take a look at this. So, this is the secret ingredient. Now, you can make patterns without worrying about the technical details. Repper offers dozens of tiling options with endless variety, and they do, as you're going to see in a minute. Now, patterns like this you can create. You can literally create patterns from anything, any type of picture you can make a pattern from. And you can turn that pattern black and white so you can actually color it in as well. Now, if we go down to here, we'll keep looking through. These are some of the patterns that you can create. And as you can see, they look pretty awesome. And again, remember, you can actually turn them black and white so you can color in color them in. So this is literally perfect for creating coloring book pages. And I'm going to show you that just in a second. Now, first of all, I just want to go over the pricing real quick as well. So right here, it says expand your pattern potential. Become a member for full access. Always get the latest updates and support ongoing development. Now, if you already know about this tool, then I'd love to know if you do. So drop a comment down below giving me your thoughts. Now with here, you can get a free trial as well. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's because I'm actually logged in. So let me scroll up. Yeah, I'm logged in up here. But right here, you would actually have the option for creating a free trial as well, which I recommend you going and doing. I've been playing around with just making patterns. So when my trial ends, I'm definitely be going to be purchasing the membership because this is relatively cheap as well. So we can look at $8.99, £8.99 for a month, around $10, and around $5 a month for the hobby. Now with this, you actually get commercial license. So every pattern that you create, you do have the rights to actually sell that. You can export up to 35 thousand times 35,000 pixels, unlimited projects, any number of devices, automatically sync and backup, and priority email support. That's on the pro, this is on the hobby. I suggest using just the free trial for now. That way you can play around with it and see if you like it. Now let's go over to here. So, oh, oh blah, 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 blah. Ha, can't even get my words out. So I've already started the app right here. Now I have one mandala in this, and we have the project demo here, which you get um, straight away anyway. So let's click on there. This is the picture. So as you can see right here, let me just scroll down a little bit. This is just a random picture 
and this is the pattern that we're getting from it. So right here, we have this little square box. You can create it bigger or smaller. This crops that section out of this picture. So if we move this around, we can see that the pattern starts to change. Now, what I've also gone ahead and done, because this is a colored image, is gone to effects right here and turned on black and white and upped the contrast. This way, it's black and white. Now, if we go back to pattern and move this around again, so we can make that bigger, we can make that smaller. We can just play around with it until we start getting a pattern that we like. So let's leave it on that for a second. Now with this up here, we can change it to rotation. We also have a lot of different options here, which I'm not going to cover absolutely everything because I don't want this video to be mega long. I just want you to go ahead and play around with it because it's a really great tool. Now, if we click on one of these, let's click on octagon. And there we go, so that now the pattern has changed. Now when you're on this bit, if we double click and drag, let's do that again, we can change the pattern as you can see. So we can do this. In fact, let's change that to, let's go with this one, see what a difference that makes. So now let's move that around like that we have some really nice patterns. Now, if you wanted to save this, it's relatively easy. We can go to preview and we can go to export. We're going to do that in a second as well. And then I'm going to upload it into Canva just so you can see the process. But another thing I want to do is just go back to the projects. Let's go back to start app. Just give that a second to load up. What I, ha what I went ahead and done and what I've been playing around with is just having a mandala. So I went over to Creative Fabrica, downloaded a PNG mandala, and then uploaded it into here. So I'm going to click on there. If you wanted to create a new project, it's really, really simple. So let's just go back for a second, go back to start app like that then give that a second. We can start a new project just here, so we can create a new project, name it Create Project. Now let's play around with this. So we, now we have that mandala right here. So here on the left-hand side, we can crop a little section. We can make that bigger, we can make that smaller. We can do that. We can change the rotation, and then we can just play around. So now, right down here at the bottom, let's zoom out a little bit like that. So I actually quite like how that is. So from here, what I would actually go ahead and do is go to export. So if we go here and right here on the right hand side, I couldn't get my words out again. This is where we can change the dimensions for the book. So I've already got this on 8.5 times 11. So that would be the size of my coloring book. I've changed it to inches and we have 300 DPI, what is recommended for actually printing books. Now I'm going to leave that on JPEG. We do have PNG or the JPEG option. Then I'd go to save, like so. Just give that a second while it's exporting. And there we go. So now we have that image down here. Now that doesn't actually look that great. I should have realized that. So right here, where it says repeat, you can play with that as well. So we can zoom in, we can zoom out. That would probably be much better for a coloring book. We can actually move that over as well, as we can see. So let's keep it like that. And let's save that one as well. Now, Let's go over to Canva. I already have an example page already up. Let's just give that a second. Load, in fact, I've just realized I've done something wrong. So let's go back. I want this on PNG, so not JPEG. So let's save that again. We're going to just let that download for a second. Let's go back over to Creative Fabrica. No, Canva. Now let's drop this into here like that. Let's get rid of this. And there we go, we have our brand new pattern. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is just move that like that. 
and then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit make sure it's in my border so let's just move that like so move that to round about there do that one as well let's move that over move that down let's go to the bottom just do that one like that let's just push that to the back as well bam lock it lock the border it's already locked and then zoom back out and now you can see we have a unique pattern which no one else is going to have and the one thing that i do like so if we go back over to here let's go back to design just with one picture alone now remember it doesn't actually have to be a mandala because you can create the patterns literally out of everything but one picture alone you can come up with pretty much endless possibilities as we can see i've moved it a little bit and now we have a completely different pattern now if we were to do that a bit more we have another brand new pattern and you can do this over and over again just with the one picture so again i highly recommend coming through checking it out there is a link down below come through use the free plan for two weeks and see what you think because as you can see it looks really cool it is really cool as well and we can create some really awesome patterns as you can see right here so from here what i would just go ahead and then do is get the text Let's put your quote here. Let's change the effects on this to splice. Let's just move that in. Let's actually change the font if it's going to let me. So let me just go with, let's choose a good one. So let's go with this one. So let's do that make that bigger like that move that up in fact i don't like that so let's just do this instead let's go to effects let's change the thickness the offset let's change the color to white and this one to black which it is let's go back to effects thickness a little bit bigger like that and now let's just change the line height to something like that and bam we now have a coloring book page really really easy so again come through click that link down below come through have a little look have a little play with it sign up for the two week free trial and just have some fun now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.